In 2012, the discovery of the Higgs boson provided experts with two things at once. On the one hand, the triumph and joy of finally having found the last missing particle of the standard model, and on the other hand, the sobering realization that this very model is incomplete. In fact, the much-cited God particle has a serious problem, or more precisely, a hierarchy problem, which means nothing more than that its mass is 100 billion times smaller than would be expected according to quantum mechanics. One approach to solving this confusing puzzle is the theory that each particle of the standard model has a supersymmetric partner. But in practice, and this is the crucial point, None of these predicted particles has yet revealed itself at the Large Hadron Collider. It is the most famous elementary particle of all. But what exactly is the Higgs boson? And why is its detection at the Large Hadron Collider considered one of the most significant milestones in the history of research? Well, to get to the bottom of these exciting questions, we first have to remember that without mass, the universe would of course be a completely different place. After all, Without it, there would be no atoms and no normal matter. And it is indeed only the mass of the particles that make them up that causes the basic building blocks of matter to hold together and interact with each other. But where do the elementary particles get their mass from in the first place? Well, that is precisely the mystery that the standard model of particle physics was unable to solve for a long time. But ultimately, this was not the only problem. Quite the opposite, in fact, because strictly speaking, the bosons, the particles that mediate the interactions between matter particles, should theoretically have no mass at all. In contrast to the photons and gluons, which act as carrier particles of the electromagnetic and strong force, the lack of boson mass simply does not correspond to our physical understanding. And yet, as one of the four fundamental forces of physics, the weak interaction does have mediator particles, the W and Z bosons that do have mass. This explains the limited range of the weak interaction, which is effective, among other things, in the decay of certain radioactive atomic nuclei. However, the origin of the mass of these exchange particles remained an unsolved mystery for decades. But then came the hour of theoretical physicists like Robert Brout, Francois Angler, and Peter Higgs, who independently of one another came to the realization in the 1960s that an invisible field permeating the entire universe could solve the mass problem. This scalar field can enter into quantum physical interactions with some of the elementary particles and thus change their properties. In this way, the affected particles can only be accelerated by expending energy, which ultimately gives them mass. But how is it then that not all carrier particles have mass? After all, it's only their masslessness that allows photons and gluons to move at the speed of light. Well, the so-called brout angler higgs mechanism also has an answer to this. Due to its asymmetry, the Higgs field does not interact with all bosons equally. And since it is neutral with respect to electrodynamics and quantum chromodynamics, the photons and gluons remain massless. However, the field exerts a kind of breaking effect on all other particles and gives them mass. But how do you prove such a fundamental assumption? Well, with the help of the Higgs boson. Because if the ominous field really exists, then it also has the property of condensing at certain points. And just as a photon embodies a wave and a particle at the same time, the Higgs field can also manifest itself at these points in the form of a particle. The hunt for the Higgs boson. Ultimately, however, according to the prediction of the Higgs boson, it would take almost another half century before its existence could finally be proven. But what made the search for the much cited God particle so complicated? Well, the core problem was that the very property of the Higgs boson that was crucial for its experimental detection did not emerge from the theories. On paper, the particle should have neither spin nor charge but it should have a mass. But no one knew how large this was. This was a serious obstacle for the proverbial hunt of the particle researchers. Only if you know the mass of the particle in question do you know at which energies particles have to be shot at each other for this to occur in a collision in the particle accelerator. The range was extremely wide, from just 18 mega electron volts to 800 giga electron volts. 
but at least experiments in the particle accelerators of the past had shown that the Higgs boson would probably have to be heavier than 114 giga electron volts. However, when the Large Hadron Collider at CERN went into operation in 2008, it opened up completely new possibilities for the search for the Higgs boson. But the bottom line was that even the largest particle accelerator in the world was unable to circumvent the natural properties of this wondrous particle. In fact, the Higgs boson is only produced in about one billionth of proton collisions and has decayed after less than a quadrillionth of a second. As a result, it can neither be directly measured nor observed, but only identified on the basis of the decay products it leaves behind. The fact that these are elementary particles such as photon pairs, muons, or Z bosons, and thus products that are also released in the decays of countless other collisions makes the matter no less complicated. And yet, it is possible to accomplish this seemingly impossible task, namely, by specifically comparing which decay products, based on already known processes the detectors should detect, and then checking whether the expected curve hides deviations in a mass and energy range. And indeed, what presented itself as a simple hump in those curves on July 4, 2012, was nothing less than the biggest sensation in particle research. After all, the signal detected in two of the large detectors marked the first clear detection of the Higgs boson. Following their much celebrated milestone, the experts compared their find to the discovery of a new continent for science. However, the full truth is that this continent still has a number of huge white spots that could not be more confusing. Why the existence of the Higgs boson is so mysterious. As mentioned at the beginning, there is also the serious problem of mass, or more precisely, the confusing fact that it is far less serious than one would assume. While the mass of the Higgs boson is 125 giga electron volts, it is, believe it or not, 13 orders of magnitude smaller than the Planck mass or the scale of the Grand Unified Theory. The bottom line is that the mass of the Higgs boson is 100 billion times smaller than would be expected according to quantum mechanics. And from the point of view of the standard model, there is only one explanation for this, namely, an extremely improbable coincidence between the properties of some fundamental building blocks of the universe. Furthermore, the said coincidence would also be an incomparable stroke of luck. After all, Without it, atoms and everything made of atoms simply could not exist. Physicists refer to this mystery as the hierarchy problem and recognize it as compelling evidence that our standard model is missing something crucial. So there must be some unknown mechanism that can explain the low mass of the Higgs boson. But what? Well, for a long time, supersymmetry was considered the most promising approach. This gets to the bottom of the hierarchy problem by assigning a supersymmetric, heavier partner to each particle of the standard model. So we're dealing here with a kind of mirrored particle superstructure, and actually, even before the Large Hadron Collider went into operation, the supporters of this theory had expected to discover a whole flood of these so-called sussy partners. But in fact, to this day, there is no trace of these hypothetical particles. This is all the more annoying because, on paper, Supersymmetry represents a very elegant solution and offers exactly what the standard model lacked. In terms of the hierarchy problem, the interactions with the heavier superpartners could influence the Higgs field and thus also the Higgs boson. And according to the corresponding model, there should be several so-called fermionic Higgsinos as well as other heavier representatives of the normal Higgs bosons. This would ultimately also explain why the Higgs boson known to date appears to be too low mass. But why have the supersymmetric partners simply not revealed themselves yet? Well, given that there have been no direct discoveries so far, it is of course conceivable that the idea of supersymmetry simply does not correspond to particle reality. Alternatively, some physicists are discussing the possibility that the particles that solve the hierarchy problem lead straight to a hidden sector. Specifically, this refers to a family of particles that interact with each other, but are simultaneously insensitive to the influence of the strong, electromagnetic, and weak interactions. In this context, they don't interact directly with ordinary matter either, which is why, to put it mildly, their detection appears challenging. 
To illustrate this, the experts state that the particles of the standard model try to pull up the Higgs boson, thus making it difficult, while the particles of the hidden sector, on the other hand, pull it down again. The Higgs boson can therefore leave the sector of the standard model and disappear into the hidden sector, where it transforms into its exotic twin. Whether this is really the case, and whether we will then also succeed in gaining insights into that hidden sector, is a completely different matter. And yet, the experts are still not losing patience. After all, it took almost 50 years from the theoretical prediction of the Higgs boson to its detection before their research world was enriched by an outstanding milestone. And now, you can get an excellent subscription. Just click the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.